YouTube. <laughs> What's the deal, man? It's your boy Goham. I am back with another reaction, and I got the In Betweeners movie on deck. You heard me, and you see the title is correct. The In Betweeners movie is officially underway. But look, um, before we get started, make sure you sub to the channel. Make sure you like this video. I'm going to be doing the um, In Betweeners movie um, two very very soon within the next couple days if you cool with the clips i'm cool with you being cool with the clips but if you do want to check out the full movie just make sure you tap into my patreon it's the first link in the descriptions but let's get into this shit man i'm really really excited about this um the in-betweeners tv show is probably like in my top five um tv shows all time like uh as far as um comedy goes from here or from the U um UK. But yeah, with that being said, we about to hop straight into this man. Let's get into it. So I got married. What? To Susan, we got married. You mean remarried? This time it's for keeps say. When did this happen? A few weeks ago. I was gonna invite you, but I know how you are around people. Oh, that's his, that's his dad. All right, so this is the first time I'm actually seeing Boy's dad. <laughs> hey, yo. He said, I was going to invite you, but I know how you are around people. <laughs> hey, Boy's embarrassing that man. How am I? Awkward. Weird. I don't live in a cave. I live in suburban London. I spend my entire life around people. Much as I'd like to, it's almost impossible to avoid them. See, this is what I mean. Well, was it a big wedding? No. A couple of hundred close friends and family. And it was perfect. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't invite me to your wedding. So what are you up to this summer? Oh, you're changing the subject? Mm -hmm. Fine. I don't know. I guess I'll be going on holiday. Oh, this should be good. What have you got planned? Trans Siberian Express. Fossil hunting in Dorset. Or maybe something even weirder. No, actually, <laughs> something normal. I'm going to go somewhere normal with my normal friends to a place full of normal people. And you, of course. <laughs> and you of course and you of course <laughs> his dad's an asshole hey yo he, his dad don't hey his dad don't like him at all i hope this shit ain't don't sound too bad but we're gonna finish it out let's get it big boy mm, i'm feeling sexy take off mess baby let me see you nah <laughs> Do you promise this will be properly filthy, yeah? Oh, yes, like a bomb explodes from in peanuts of sexy like mm. Finger up that hole. Christ, you make me so erect. Oh, yes, you often make me erect. Now, put in card details. Oh, I'm so horny. Don't forget security number on back. <sighs> this boy wasted bread, bruh. And then he got lunch meat, a hockey glove on. Gog goggles in a what is that a snorkel or thing joint bruh bruh <laughs> that's boy <laughs> I'm mad that a motherfucker this show is over oh. it's a bit over is that okay not really excuse me my prawns sorry mate I finished at six <laughs> Cheers for that. You don't have to thank me every time. All right. Cool. You're so fit. <laughs> oh, okay, they all getting busted. Okay. I'm definitely getting better at kissing, aren't I? I think we should break up. What? We're both going away to uni soon, and... I clapped way too soon, man. This boy getting broke up with already. For, what, what is it? Damn, four minutes into the movie. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, man. I ain't trying to laugh at my boy, but damn. <laughs> I will forget each and every one of you almost immediately. So, if you do find yourself at a loose end next year. I will forget each and every one of you almost immediately. <laughs> I can't stand you motherfuckers. Hey, 
out with the old, in with the new. Hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Gilbert, funny than a motherfucker. Hi, Simon. Okay, well, bye then. Fucking bitch. Is she? <laughs> no. Oh, God, I just really miss her. <laughs> He say that bitch were at the same level of disrespect with everybody, bro. I remember whenever he called his mom that, bro. That was hilarious to me. <laughs> it's all right, mate. I understand. Anyone would miss those tits. It's not that, Neil. Is it a lovely snatch? No. Right. Is this then the vicar? Me? No, no, I'm Kevin. I'm Neil's father. Nice to meet you. Where's Neil been hiding you than the church? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a bloody vicar, doesn't he? No, oh, no, 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 I'm not a vicar. No, no, I know that. But you look like a vicar, and you talk like a vicar. A bloody gay vicar or something. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a vicar, and I'm not gay. No, I'm saying you look gay. But you can't be, can you? Because old soppy bollocks here come out your pipe. <laughs> right, I see. Well, there you go. <laughs> I will never blame Jay again for some of the stupid shit he say. Fuck it. His dad is wow. Don't want you to miss that flight. Bye bye, Pookie Pepper. I love you. Oh, and Jay, if you're going to spend your granddad's money chasing skirt, two things. One, make sure she's not a hound like the last one. And two, try to be a man when she dumps you for someone with a bigger cock. Which is everyone. <laughs> Dad. Dads are like off. See? That looks nice. I'm not sleeping in a fucking bathtub for two weeks, Simon. I we'll have to share the sofa bed. Oh, hello! <laughs> right, well, while you two decide who gets first go on each other's cocks, there's the different rules, you dick. Look, you dance over near them, make the eyes, then get them to dance with you. Really? <laughs> Annoyingly, that does sound right. Thank you. And then after a bit, you stand up behind them, pretend to slap them and fuck them up the arse. <laughs> that might be a bit much. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Chill out, man. The next morning, I was woken up by what sounded like Bigfoot having an asthma attack. <laughs> Simon. Simon. Christ, there's like a swarm right here. Have you got any water? What the fuck is that noise? I think it's Neil. Oh, oh no, not the dinner lady from last night. No, no longer. I do not understand the thing you've done. Some cold, me bastard tit. All oh, right. Well, it's her or Johnny Vegas. Ah, fucking smack it. Smack it, you little bitch. <laughs> is that all you've got? He's going to bite it. Interesting question. Bite this it. is beyond creepy. Sit on it. Twist it right fucking off. OK, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes! It's all right, boys. Kitty, don't bite. Don't know how she's been fed. Hey, lover. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I had a serious problem. In the absence of my mother or a teacher, I needed help with my sunblock. Simon, you see my back? No. No. I don't want to touch you. Unbelievable. Try I'll do it myself. Look, all right, I'll do it with one finger. Thank you. <laughs> got too much here and here. I'll scrape it off. OK, but don't try and be funny and draw a cock on my back or something. <laughs> no, of course not. Right, all done. No, I'm fine for drinks, thanks. <clears throat> oh, Alison. Hello. Hello. You know you've got a spunking cock on your back. <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. I'm very funny, very mature. So I've been lying there with a cock on my back, have I? Not for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you're funny, Will. Well, that's something. Can I get a girl into bed for sex just by making her laugh? Of course you can. Wow. Great. If she's a clinical moron. <laughs> this is only <laughs> five seconds to get off my sunbed. Right, come on, Will. We'll just find somewhere else. But I still don't see why we should move. Yes, his daughter has a serious condition. There's not like the whole family therefore entitled to poolside seats for life. 
<laughs> he said, because your daughter got a serious condition don't mean you entitled to pool sad seats for life. He always, <laughs> yo. Ah, no, I no swim. Oh, okay. He's misfit. I no swim, I beg you. No swim. Ah. What? What? It's just a joke. We're, we're mates. <laughs> <laughs> He said no swim. <laughs> Great. And with the rough can get back together with the woman I love. Look, it's not my fault Carly thinks you're a prick. You want to watch me more closely, mate? You might actually learn something. Oh, yeah. And what would I learn? How to bullshit about having sex? How to sleep in an ant's nest? How to be scared shitless of my dad? Oh, come on, sir. I calm down. Maybe you'd learn not to be such a massive tool over that miserable cunt. Don't call Connie a cunt! Hey. I ain't complaining about the acting the whole time, but that punch was terrible. Hi, right, okay, here we go. We've been spotted. Seen him. Look cool. <laughs> Bro, if that's y'all looking cool, y'all is in for a rude awakening. Interesting. That is not Mr. Gilbert. <laughs> I didn't realize I was being such a dick. You were? I'm trying to say sorry. Well, say it then. Sorry. For being a dick? Sorry for being a dick. And for having too much gel in your hair? I don't think I've got that much. Okay, I'm sorry for having too much gel in my hair. <laughs> you should probably get going. I'm not that bothered. Really? Yeah. If you like, maybe we could hang out, the two of us. I quite fancy just staying by the pool. Yeah, I mean, why spend the day having unbelievable fun on a party boat when you could be taking a depressed man swimming at a family hotel? I'm serious. I don't mind. I might even cheer you up. Bro, he need to just say R.I.P. to what he think or with uh, Carly. And just move it on. How about that? Let me back in. I honestly don't think I'll be very good company. But thanks for the offer. You go. I'll be all right. Look. It's obvious how much Carly means to you. She's lucky. I think. I'm sure you'll sort it out. She goes back tomorrow. I can feel her slipping away. Simon, if she really means that much to you, I want you to take my ticket. Lucy. If you really want to go, take it. If you really want to go. God, you do that to me. Just stay. Thanks. I'll see you later. I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> he snatched that motherfucker and took off. Did you see her face? Hey. <laughs> Don't mind. I've told you I do. And to be fair, in private, you might get a blowjob out of it. Alison, will you text Lucy and tell her I'm coming to get her? Of course I will. Will you? <laughs> All right. Yeah. What are you doing out there, then? I'm going to swim back to shore and tell Lucy how I feel. How romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the coolest thing he ever did in his life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think he might be drowning. <laughs> Fucking dead. <laughs> I said that might be the coolest thing he did in his life. No fucking way. The dumbest shit he did. All right, we're going to stop that there, man. That was the first In Betweeners movie. This might be the funny. Is this the funniest shit that the UK got to offer, man? Because I'm telling you, if it ain't going to get no better than this, I'm going to be pissed. Because these, th this TV show was hilarious. And the movie was even funnier. Oh, man, I enjoyed that. We about to get up out of here. This um, Inbetweeners movie 2 will be coming. Um, should be coming within the next couple days after you see this. Make sure you sub to the channel. Make sure you like this video. And if you cool with the clips... I'm cool with you. I'm cool with you being cool with the clips. But if you want to watch this full joint, you want to watch my full reactions and not the clips, just make sure that you go um, fuck with my uh, Patreon. First link in the description. Go ham TV.